Many of these are old. This one's um, World War II War Surplus. Whiskey 6 Lima calling CQ, hello CQ. CQ calling CQ, hello CQ. Whiskey 6 Lima Golf. Whiskey 6 Lima Golf. Hi, I'm Jim W6LG for Ham Radio Basics. Welcome to my radio room here on Wolf Mountain. Um, going to do an experiment and going to be kind of a repeat of one I've done in the past that got a lot of criticism. Um, I'm going to connect or have connected approximately 30 coax connectors um, and just to be really clear these are many of these are old this one's um, World War II war surplus uh, same with this one same with this one same with this one and they've been outside and used um, gonna string them together and hook them up to this switch and it's going to go these two switches and it's going to go between these two switches here uh, and I'm going to turn on this uh, signal generator which puts out uh, uh, 50 microvolts and see what what the loss is uh, using uh, my pan adapter so my pan adapter is calibrated in DB which may not be the easiest thing to understand but um, Turn this off, but I'll try to uh, uh, convert the dB to uh, to loss, maybe percentage uh, percentage of loss. So, how much loss is there on 20 meters? And this time, how much loss is there on six meters? Then I'm going to hook up 100 feet of coax from here to here and see what the loss is on six meters and 20 meters. Also, I've got um, FT8 going on the uh, Yesu 450. The antenna is disconnected, but I'll reconnect it. Got that going uh, late last night. So, in a subsequent video, we'll talk about putting a Yesu FT450 on uh, FT8, and we'll see how that works. Looks like a lot of fun. Anyway, let's see what happens. Get the receiver to uh, to 20. Uh, 14200, going to go down just a bit so I'm not in zero beat. Um, not sure where to put the scale, so looks like 84, 85 dB. Let's see if I can make change the scale just a bit so we're a little more accurate in the reading because now we're down to 1 dB, it's going to make a difference. Okay, there we go. Um, well, right at 84 dB, so minus 84 dB on 20 meters. Now that's connectors in line, no connectors. Connectors in line, and so it's, it's minus 84 dB whether the connectors are in line or not. So there's no difference. Let's go to 6 meters and see what happens on 6. Um, okay, here's six meters minus 87 db without the connectors minus 87 db plus a little with the connectors so again there's no difference that i can measure um, it's 87 minus 87 db in either case so the connectors don't attribute to loss let's try coax and see what it does and again it's a hundred feet of rg8x we'll go back to 20 meters which was um, uh, minus 84 dB. Okay, there's uh, uh, about 1 dB difference, so minus 84 versus minus 85. It's about a 22% loss for uh, in the cog, so if you put in 100 watts you're getting 78 out the other end. Here's 6 meters, the loss is roughly roughly double, uh, about 40%, so it's minus 87 versus minus 89. So there was uh, about 40% loss, and both of those are assuming that the SWR is low. As the SWR goes up, as we've discussed before, those losses also increase. Anyway, uh, if you've enjoyed the video, please subscribe. If you have a comment, please put it below. Um, right now we're at about 10,000 subscribers and growing pretty rapidly. So thanks for watching. See you the next time. I'm Jim, W6LG.